welcome back to my channel. I am Janelle. Let's do something a little different today. I'm gonna do at home gel manicure. I've been doing this since COVID, so we're coming on about a year now. The kit I got off of Amazon was $36. Yes, that's right. Um, and let's just go ahead and get to it. Let me show you. Let me preface by I am not a manicurist. I'm not an expert, but this is how your girl does it. Okay, let's get to it. Number one thing, doing home manicures, prep, prep, prep. Trust me, my manicures can last three to four weeks. Actually, they are like pretty close to impossible to getting off. Um, I swear by home manicures, and I am not a manicurist. Manicurist, anyways, uh, I don't do this for, for a profession. This is just like I started doing this during quarantine and I am absolutely obsessed. And I've gotten about nine or 10 manicures out of a $35 kit, which I will tag um, in the details below. I got this on Amazon for a couple of dollars. It is cuticle remover, and I got this tool, a little cuticle pusher. This is something extra that you're going to need, but other than that, everything comes in the kit. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's go ahead and get to it. Um, I put this on the back of the cuticles, and I just kind of rub that in and let it soak for like a couple of minutes. Nothing too serious. I do not soak in like a tub of water like you do when you go to the salon. I don't know whether that's right or wrong, but just sharing how I do it. So I just pour that on there and I do one hand at a time. It's just kind of easier for me. Um, so yeah. And then I get the little cuticle pusher. You're gonna, I don't cut my cuticles. I just push them back. So I just get this push and you'll kind of see how you get kind of like, and this is super gross, but you'll get like stuff on your little tool. Um, that's why I get like paper towels, so then you can like wipe that off. <clears throat> so sometimes I get like little bits of skin right there. I, I don't cut anything. I don't even have scissors. Um, I just push, push it back, okay. So this prep is super important. You're gonna wanna push your cuticles back because you want all this icky dead skin or icky stuff on your nails gone so that you can get a really good surface for your um, gel to stick to. And it's gonna make those back cuticle lines just look really pretty. So you'll see, I kinda, I'm very dry and I get kinda like this dry stuff, which I just use the other end, just kinda like a little hook shape and I just kind of scrape that away, get it out of the way. Nev I never cut. Truthfully, I don't know how to cut or like the proper ways to cut. It just seems too sketchy for me, so yeah. So I just push these back. It doesn't have to be perfect at this point. I'm just kind of getting them out of the way, and then I buff with like a rougher. <laughs> On file. This is rough. This is soft. So this is like a finishing one, and this is like to get all it all even. Um, so I smooth them with the um, rougher one first, because I just took off my old gels. So they're kind of like they're a little rough and bumpy and a little uneven. So I go in with this one first, and then I clean up like the edges and shape them with this. And be sure to get all the way to the edges of your nails. Prep, 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 I'm telling you. And I get all the way back to the cuticle. So that took off a lot of that like skin that was kind of left or that like stuff at the back. I don't really know. I don't know what it is, but this buffs it out. So I shape them at this point as well. Roughing them up, getting all the way to the edges, back to the cuticle. I do not like my nails being long. I'm a nurse, um, and I just I, I just don't like my nails to be very long, so I keep them pretty short. So if you if you think that like your nails are too short for doing gels at home, it's not. I have really short nails, and I keep them really short. Okay, so that's pretty well roughed up, and then this comes in the kit as well. And I love this little thing. I just kind of wipe. <laughs> wipe all the dust away. Okay, and you'll see we're getting better. See how like we're starting to get a good shape, like we're moving towards the right direction. So now I go back in with my cuticle pusher and just make sure everything is back. You don't want it to be like hanging over your nail that it's gonna get in the polish. 
So I just push it back again, okay? And now we're ready to just buff. So this is a finer one. I just use this a little bit. I hit it again just to get make sure I have a really, really nice, smooth surface um, to go on with my polish so that it's really like flat and nice, not bumpy or any ridges. Because you know how when you take off your old gels, you can kind of get like little ridges in your nails. So you want to make sure that you don't have any of that. You want to be working on a really, really good flat surface. Now, I try not to touch my nails now. So I've gotten off all of the oils. So I try not to touch the beds of the nails because you don't want the oils from this hand. So you got a nice, good, clean surface to work with. I just buff with this to get off any of the dust particles because you don't want any of the dust on there because that'll show underneath your polish. Um, it'll be like a little bump or bubble. So, <sighs> okay, we're prepped and ready to go, okay? I think this is one of the, like the most important parts is to prep and then the way, the method that you paint, I think is also really important. So, okay, so we're ready to go. And like I said, I do one hand at a time. Um, you're gonna go in with your base coat. You get a base coat, top coat, and then a top uh, matte coat, which I've never used the matte. I don't know why I haven't, but anyways, um, I'm gonna go in with a base coat. So you're ready to go. So you have to be careful to not get anything on the cuticles. You can't get on the ridges of your nail, only on the nail. Otherwise it's gonna lift. Like that's gonna create a little bed where it lifts on the side and that's what you don't want because they're gonna peel off. So you go in with your base coat and do not get it on the cuticles. So don't like be all like, you gotta get all the way to the edges. Trust me, it works out in the end, okay? We're gonna start with the base coat. And then I do one minute each time. The lamp also comes in the kit. <laughs> this is clear. So just be very careful not to get it back on your, don't get it on the side of your skin or on the back of the cuticle. So I kind of get as close as I can to the cuticle and push back a little bit and then move on. So start at about three fourths of the nail and move forward. Trying to get all the way to the edge, but not on the skin, okay? Then the thumb, I always paint the thumb kind of weird. I never know how to hold my hand. And I'm just a little shaky, I've had a lot of coffee. <laughs> but that's okay, okay. So base coat's done, I just do one coat of the base coat. Let's do 60 seconds, okay? Okay, for a color today, I am choosing the Beatles. I love this kit. This, the six pastels came in my initial kit. Yep, still 35 bucks. I've also ordered more colors in addition to that because I am obsessed with this brand. I have tried other brands. I really like this one. Um, I'm gonna use color 131. It's like a Tiffany's bluish, greenish, tealish. Um, okay, I do three very thin coats. Very, very thin coats. I think this is very important. Um, and I'll show you the method. I kind of took it from the apex method when I was doing dip nails, if you know what that is, but I'll just go ahead and show you. Um, so the very first coat, again, very, very thin. I don't go anywhere near the cuticle. I just get like some initial base color on the nail. That's it. That's all you're gonna do. Don't go back to the cuticle. Don't go to even the edges of the nail. You're just getting an initial base on the nail. That's it, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect. I've done this method. <laughs> this is like, I think this is my eighth home manicure, I think. And it really works for me. Like I said, these nails that I just had on before, that I just took off right now, we're on for four weeks. And I like could not even get them off. Okay, be sure not to get it too thick. Okay, that's your first coat, just down the center and not all the way to the edges, that's it, okay? Let's cook for 60. And someone told me, I don't know if this is true, but don't put your polish right by your light. I don't know if that's, a real thing, but I started moving it away. So, okay, let's go ahead and cook. 
Okay, first coat done. Now we go in with the second coat and go a little bit more closer to the cuticles and the edges, but still not completely. And still a very thin coat. You're building up that color. Again, if you want to look this up, I took this method from when I was doing dip nails called the Apex method. It's like building up the nail. You can look it up on YouTube, um, but yeah. And I'm telling you, I swear by this method. Okay, cook again. Round two. Okay, and now time for the third and final coat of paint. But like, look how good they look. They're super thin, super durable, like not chunky or cakey. I'm telling y'all, like you gotta try this method. And I didn't like invent it or anything, but I'm just saying it looks really good. <laughs> okay, so now when I go to do the cuticle, I put the brush right there and just kind of push back a little bit. Do not get it on your skin. It will make them lift. If you get it on your skin a little bit, it's fine. Just get like a really fine brush and some acetone and kind of brush your cuticle. And like, honestly, try not to obsess over it. No one is looking that closely at your nails, but you, it, the tiny imperfections, no one's gonna see, trust me. Everybody is just gonna say, you have a beautiful manicure. Like, trust me. This, I'm never perfect, but you don't have to obsess about it. It's gonna look the bomb, and trust me, you saving money all day. Bam, bam, bam. How freaking beautiful. Okay, cook another 60. Okay, so that is three coats. Three very, very, very thin coats. Now we're gonna go on with a top coat, which comes in the kit. And again, just always be very careful not to get it on your cuticle and not to get it on the side of your nail. Okay, here we go. The last coat I do, the last cook I do for 120. So just give them an extra seal, seal in all the goods. And uh, I'll show you the final result. Okay, there, there it is. 15, 20, 30 minute, I don't know, at home gel manicure that will last three to four weeks, I promise you. Uh, yes, please. Yes, please. Um, you can do some little designs. I've experimented with glitter, but like this is just like, I wanted to show the basic, like basic paint gel at home. Um, yeah, like check out that difference. Hello. <laughs> Okay, both hands are done, looking beautiful. I don't really know how you like model your nails. Is it this? Is it this? I don't know. Anyways, there they are. Uh, the kit also comes with a little bit of oil, which <sighs> your girl is dry, like cactus, Sahara, dry. So I just paint that all over there. Oh yeah. And then we done. We're done for another three to four weeks. <laughs> Um, you guys, I'll tag this kit below. I'm telling you, do your nails at home. Like, actually, I mean, if you, if like that's your thing and like you like to go to the salon, like I, don't get me wrong, like you do you boo. But if you are a busy mom like me who has to find a babysitter for their two kids, if you're trying to make a nail appointment and then that day never works out and then you can never go and then you gotta cancel your appointment. If you're <laughs> a mess like me, get this kit. It's literally $36 on Amazon and I am obsessed. This is, I'm telling you like my ninth manicure. So you do the math about how many manicures um, I've saved. And yeah, you're not gonna be perfect at the beginning. I wasn't, but trust me, each time you'll get better and better. I watched lots of YouTubes on how to learn to do dip <laughs> or gel manicures. I love YouTube. I learn everything on YouTube, um, but yeah. There you go. What do you think? And if you guys want, I can show you some of the simple designs. Like I said, you guys, I am not a nail tech or a uh, manicurist. Um, so I'm not an expert, but I've gotten a few designs down, which I'm okay at, but not great. If you want to see me to <laughs> try to attempt to teach you those uh, designs, sometimes I like to do them on these two nails, but um, I just kind of went plain today because sometimes I like it just basic not basic but you know just like plain and beautiful uh anyways if you want to see that drop that below um and i will try to record that for you guys as well